When we talk about sports, most people in general think about athletes performing grueling physical activities which require years and years of practice to master. While motorsport may not seem to be as physically exerting when compared to other sports, it actually is quite exhausting steering a high-performance car for nearly 300 kilometers. Hence the obvious question is how do Formula 1 drivers even prepare themselves? And what kind of training do they need to undergo to be in peak physical form? For that, let's take a closer look at what it takes to be an F1 driver. Now for those of you who are unaware, F1 drivers encounter at least 4 to 5 Gs of force while racing at speeds of 300 km per hour and upwards. These are extreme forces that a driver has to learn to deal with for the entire duration of a race unlike any other sport. Any slight mistake on track by a driver could prove fatal, which is why they spend years in training before they can even enter Formula 1. Drivers generally train with specialized equipment and routines that are designed to engage important muscles as well as test their capabilities. So here's revealing some of the exhausting workout routines that F1 drivers go through. Kicking things off with the reigning world champion Lewis Hamilton, the British driver has always kept a strong focus on being fit and healthy. While not on track, Hamilton keeps himself occupied with activities such as surfing, skiing, Muay Thai, Pilates and much more. Apart from this, his workout consists of a wide variety of exercises like Romanian deadlifts, goblet squats, dumbbell press-ups, half-kneeling shoulder presses and seated Russian twists among others. Hamilton has been quite upfront about how he stays in shape, having said, I like lifting weights, but I have to make sure that I don't overdo it. Formula 1 drivers can't be too heavy. More muscle means more kilos. It's also disadvantageous to put too much muscle on your shoulders and arms because you need to have a low center of gravity in the car. It's important to have a good cardiovascular system as a driver. Hamilton is also quite popularly known to be a vegan and has switched to a plant-based diet which he has found to be quite effective in keeping him consistently energized. Next up we have McLaren's Daniel Ricciardo who has been in fairly good shape since his debut in Formula 1. The 32-year-old Australian has been working with his longtime performance coach Michael Italiano to get himself ready for each season. Ricciardo's workout regime is made up of repetitions of exercises like head twists, head nods, weighted calf extension and prone bridge to name a few. During the lockdown Ricardo made good use of his time by improvising new workouts while living on his farm in Australia. This included activities like sledgehammer slams, tire flips, sled drags and more. Aside from the usual squats and core exercises, he has put in a significant amount of effort in reducing his reaction time, a much needed skill in a sport where drivers need to make split second decisions. More importantly, Ricardo has stressed upon the necessity of adequate sleep, saying, Sleep is important, no matter what you're doing in life. You feel the effects of not getting good sleep and you can probably get away with a night or two of poor sleep but eventually it catches up on you. Now moving on to Scuderia Ferrari's newest member Carlos Sainz Jr. The young Spanian has time and again proven his metal on track, reaching greater heights each season. This is primarily due to his robust physical form as well as his sharp driving skills throughout his career in F1. Carlos's workout drill is a three-part structure which includes cardio, strength and specific training. For cardio, he ends up doing cross-training or triathlons, that is swimming, biking and running, while in specific training he usually goes karting. To build up his muscular strength, Carlos does a series of bodyweight exercises working especially on the neck and shoulder muscles apart from his regular gym workout, which comprises of neck lifts, ball throw sit-ups, punching crunches and a few bouts of boxing. He focuses a lot on his nutrition, consuming 2800 kcal throughout his day with breakfast made up of oats, porridge and toast, snacks containing cereal bars along with fruits and meals which include tofu, mackerels, yogurt and salads. Carlos also believes in looking after his mental well-being, stating, This is the part that people often forget about. It can vary from person to person but it's crucial to recharge mentally and you must allow time for it to happen. He does this by spending time with his family playing card games, chess and a little bit of TV. Next in line is championship contender Max Verstappen. The Red Bull driver is looking to finally win a championship title for himself this year after putting in some spectacular performances, giving Hamilton a run for his money. Verstappen is quite disciplined in his approach and does not take training as a hobby is what his performance coach Brad Skeynes revealed. Like the rest of his opponents, he spends a great deal of time working on his neck by performing a wide range of neck twists, chin-ups and a few more exercises with resistance bands. He works on his upper body and lower body on different days while keeping a constant core workout. Verstappen enjoys a hybrid routine, often mixing things up with a medicine ball or performing kettlebell squats, lunges or kettlebell rows. I don't like to train in the gym, so I usually go for a run and explore the area. I really like to be outside. 
since I'm still young and I can also handle jet lag very well, admitted Verstappen who prefers training from home on his Watt bike or his Skype. Further up is the Frenchman Pierre Gasly, who is currently driving for the Alpha Tauri team. The 25-year-old has built an impressive body far from his early days in Formula 1. When he's not racing in the off-season, Gasly devotes nearly six days a week towards training, splitting his time evenly between cardio and weight training. His cardio workout involves a lot of running and cycling for extended periods of time in multiple intervals. This helps him maintaining his heart rate anywhere between 140 to 170 beats per minute, similar to when he's racing in the car on a Sunday. Gasly's workout is a combination of exercises such as upper body twists, cable fly, deadlifts, cable rows, as well as working on his neck and leg muscles. His meals are a good mix of veggies, proteins and salads, while also cutting off any sugar or carbs. Gasly, for the last two years, has been travelling to Dubai with his trainer before the start of the season to undergo a few weeks of rigorous training as he doesn't get much time to work on himself later in the year. Having seen what kind of preparation goes into driving a Formula 1 car, it's easy to understand why most drivers begin their career in racing at a very young age. They face immeasurable risk and extreme conditions in the cockpit well beyond the average human, which only makes us appreciate the skills and talents of all the drivers on the grid racing for the greatest prize in motorsport. We hope you enjoyed this video. Do let us know in the comments which other driver's workout routine would you like us to cover in our upcoming videos. 